Hey guys, this is Casey from Jetty USA. I'm going to show you a little bit about the configuration menu on your Jetty transmitters. So start off, go into your menu, and you can go down to system, and you're going to go into the configuration. Now this is where you set the things like your language, your time, um, whether or not you want it in mode one, two, three, four. Um, simply, you can see everything here. In, you just scroll down, you've got your language on top, then you go to your username. So let's just say we're going to go ahead and call this Casey here. You just select your name, hit OK. Now I've set my username. Um, stick mode, this is where you set what mode. You can see the options 1 through 4. Um, I do mode 2, which it's already on, and I'm going to hit OK. Um, the sound profile, you can change it from beep and voice to voice only or beep only. Um, we're going to keep ours on beep and voice. We like the noise. You've got your date and you've got your time. Now it's very important, you have to have your date and your time set up in order to do any type of telemetry logging. Um, you can change your, your distance and your temperature units. You can go from the metric system to the standard system or vice versa. We keep ours in the metric system. Um, the startup question, when it asks if you want to go ahead and start your transmitter, you can actually disable that. Um, you can, if it's yes, it's disabled. If it's no, it'll still ask you. Um, reverse menu navigation, rolling menu. This thing's kind of cool. If you want, you can get it to where it just keeps rolling through the menu. We prefer it to stop at the bottom when you get to the bottom, but let's just say I make this a yes. Now you can see I'll just keep scrolling through. It'll take me right back to the top. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that back on no. Screenshot capture switch. This is kind of neat. One of the cool functions about this transmitter, if say you're on a forum or you know you want to show someone what your screen says, is you can actually take a screenshot and transfer that to your computer via the USB cable. To do that, we're going to go ahead and assign a switch. So I'm going to go ahead and assign the SC switch to this. All right, now I'm going to hit OK. So now when I hit SC, Give it a few seconds, you'll see the word OK pop up. Once it says OK, now you've known you've taken your screenshot. Um, and then, like I said, you can pull it onto your computer via the USB A. You can also set the PPM output settings. So we have hours on off because we're not currently using it, but you can change it to positive, PPM negative, or the EX bus data stream. It does several different data streams, and this is where you'd select it. Um, and then your check signal before flight, you can change that to a yes or you can put it on no. We always like it to check the signal just to be on the safe side so we leave ours on yes. Um, and that's, you know, that's the end of the configuration menu. If you guys have any questions, please refer to your manual or you can reach out to us via email or phone. You can check us out on espreemodel.com or jettyusa.com. Thanks for watching.